Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're gonna to be showing you these new studio monitors that I got in the mail today. Really excited to be picking these up and getting them and showing them to you today. These are the PreSonus Aries E5 XT studio monitors. We're gonna be running these through a audio interface. We're gonna be showing you how to cable them up and give you a bit of my review around what I think the quality is. So before we do get into that, please remember as always to subscribe to my channel down below, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. So we've got ourselves a big box, but let's go ahead and open them up. As I said, I've got two of these, so we're gonna look at them. Bit of a manual, and then there's looks like some feet or some padding for the actual bottom of the units. And that's it, there's nothing else really in there. Power cable for your monitors. Now each monitor itself will need to be powered individually, so one per monitor. So here's the monitor, definitely weighty. It's got a fair bit of weight to it. Uh, obviously because each of the two monitors have their own uh, electronics and power distribution built within the units themselves. But they look great and they feel great. So on the top we've got our tweeter and then on the bottom we've got our actual driver, the actual sub itself, 5 inch, uh, given the name E5. So acoustic tuning, you've got your gain, obviously to adjust the gain up and down. You've got your mid frequency to adjust your mids in your actual sound. And then you've got your high frequency to adjust the high frequency up and down based on the decibels needed. You've also got a low cutoff switch. Essentially, if you have a external subwoofer, um, you can actually cut that low bottom end off and let the subwoofer do its thing. And then there's the acoustic space. It actually lets you uh, tune or, or tweak your speaker depending on your actual room space. So the actual location of your room, where you're gonna be putting the speakers. And then you've got your inputs. Now there are three inputs available to us. Of course, the input is where you're gonna be running the audio into it. We've got a XLR and a TRS cable. These of course are balanced, so you can run an XLR cable straight into that. Uh, a TRS cable, so make sure that this is a balanced cable as well. And then you've got an RCA unbalanced if you want to run an RCA connection into it. Your power on off, your AC select, you can change the actual AC, and then there's the power down the very bottom where you're gonna run that into a PowerPoint to get power to the unit. Now I'm gonna be running these out of a Focusrite Scarlett uh, audio interface, so the outputs on the back of that audio interface are gonna be my inputs into these two units, and I'm using a TRS cable, but you can also use that XLR, of course, if you so choose to. So that was my basic summary and basic review. Now, if you wanna go into a lot more detail and understand the quality and hear it and things like that, the recommendations are always to go down to your local music store, DJ store, amplifier store, wherever that may be, to actually hear them. Um, hear them because the quality when you're hearing them versus hearing them over the computer, over the internet, over YouTube, it's just not gonna be the same. So always go down and hear them. But there are other channels that do focus on the actual audio acoustics of these, uh, so you can get a lot better understanding of what they sound like through those other videos. But hopefully I gave you at least a good enough understanding so that you can maybe consider these to add to your studio mix. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Um, as I said, my name is Emilio. I do a lot of tech videos around a lot of technology items, so do check out some of those other videos if you are interested. But if you did like this video, please like it. Comment below as well, let me know your thoughts, and subscribe clicking on that button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.